Hey guys, in this video I want to show what honestly I really go through when I'm playing PvP in this game. <laughs> so, I saw this team with the all psychic types and I was like, oh maybe I have a chance, like I have some minds that can probably deal with it. Wrong. Um, it was honestly didn't want to upload this because I feel like it's low-key embarrassing, but at the end of the day, like, I really don't care if I win or lose in some matches. But I thought this match was pretty funny, at least the first one was, because, yeah. He brings in the sickle lift, and I was like, oh, like, maybe it'll be easy, like, I'm kind of, I don't know, at an advantage, I guess, but no. He literally starts cosmic powering up and as you can see on my team I have absolutely nothing to deal with this whatsoever like I don't have clear smog I don't have haze I don't have any of that so the fact that I let the signal lift to set up on me and win was kind of embarrassing but at the end of the day I guess you don't really see signal lift at all like in anything so you're not gonna run a counter for it you know what I mean but I got absolutely destroyed and you'll see I do end up surrendering kind of a spoiler but I'm not gonna just stay in this match because you have star powered cosmic power roost and heat wave like there's no way of beating this really like, once this thing gets set up in most games, like, you honestly lose if you don't have a mod that's faster and that can kill this. And then I missed a stun that I chose praying for, like, a random quit or whatever, but... Actually, I did forfeit there, but I did end up queuing up for the next one. Because I was like, I'm not going to just stop playing because of that. Um, Yeah. I was looking through trade chat to see what's in there. I haven't really seen anything good lately. I'm trying. I'm not really trying to buy mons, but I don't really have time to hunt anymore. So I'm trying to buy a few things to try to like do videos and stuff. I don't remember how long. Yeah, here's the other match. So I did get this team. Um, his team looks pretty standard. He does have a mega pincer, which I really like. I haven't really seen anybody use it. But I think it was pretty nice in this match. So I think I I thought I would not have an advantage, but I kinda have an advantage. So you'll see how this battle goes. Um So obviously Cyberstone is a big counter to Rotom. I just go for my rocks and he switches out because he can't do anything to me. And then I have Heat Train on my team also, so he can't really do much to me. I think I go for rocks here. I don't go for Toxic, so I picked it to switch out. I think his entire team besides Ferrothorn can take a Toxic, which is pretty good. I don't know if you can hear my chair moving back and forth. I don't know why I'm moving back and forth. Anyways, um, I did go and see Manchild predicting to see what he's going to do, because I can't do U-turn out with my Choice Scarf from Regenerator, which I honestly love. Um... I was scared he's gonna go for a random quick attack, so I decided to switch out and see what he go for. So, like I said, he's a mega pincer, which is really good. I love his ability; how he turns move into a flying move and everything. So I go for return, didn't do much. I just pain split. Honestly, I could have go for like both sister hydro pump. I don't know why I pain split there. It's kind of a misplay in my part. Uh, I don't really have a switch in for Kong Calder, so I, I decided I have to just stay in and just hit it for whatever move I can go for. I could have Volt switched out, but I think Hydro Pumping twice is pretty good. So this play, I don't know why, I paint split again. After I was realizing, I was like, that's such a stupid play. Because now Mach Punch just kills me. I believe. I know I lived. But still, that that was such a waste. I could have just well switched out and gone to something else. I could have killed it. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. That was kind of dumb. But I do good to me, Angel, because it's a free switch in always on this team. Not free, because they have Clefable, so it's not always free. But 
it's one of those like memento mods where you can just switch in and then switch out you know um i think he did go cliff fable here or pincer one of those because he cannot go into pharaoh or yep he, he wants to hide dragon actually uh he doesn't realize that i'm scar so i do u-turn unfortunately i do get a crit so his Hydreigon died. I don't know if it died without a crit, but I know it had done at least like 70 or like 70 percent. And I do go into Heatran because I don't know why I went Heatran. Is this going to Pinsir? Um, I believe he does have Earthquake. Um, Rocks did though. Who's not on his team? Well, on his Pinsir at least. And I think he has Earthquake, but I decided to sack my Rotom off. Yeah, he did have Earthquake. So I don't die. They go to Pidgeot, because it's a free switch in. I can just spam some Hurricanes. Because Hurricane hits Pinsir, hits Clefable, Heat Wave can hit Fail Thorn. And uh, he has something else left. He did go for a quick attack. I could have roosted, but I think he surrendered this turn, I believe. But yeah, the first one was one of my embarrassing moments. The second one was pretty good. If you would have kept playing, I think you don't know what the outcome was. But you never know until you finish the game. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope to get some more entertaining ones. I'm kind of lacking in a way. But yeah, see ya.